Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here again with HolsingerFlyShop.com bringing you another simple pattern. Um, this is an old standard in my fly box right here. Uh, we'll just call it the flashy bugger. Um, I used to have this in the fly box at all time. There was a time when I fished a lot of woolly buggers before I really got into nymph fishing real heavily and uh, I got pretty good at fishing woolly buggers and this was one of my go-to's. Um, one thing I do want to emphasize here, I just put that first one in the vise. Now, get this straightened up in the video. There we go. Put the first one in the vise. You saw I had a cone head on it. I'm going to put a bead head on this one. It doesn't matter. Um, I just, I actually was just out, at, out of the cone heads here at the shop, so I'm going with a bead head on this one. The hook I'm using is a 2220 um, streamer hook from Daiichi. This is a size 10. Thread we're going with is 140 denier um, black thread, just simple black thread. First thing we're going to put on there is the tail. And all the tail is is just some black marabou, just simple black marabou. And we're going to put that on there and again, no longer than the length of the body, than the length of the fly. So you can see here that like there's close to the length of the fly. We're going to go just a little bit shorter than that and pinch it down and tie it down. Okay, now actually I wanted to put some lead on there first, but it'll be fine. We'll put it on after the marabou. So we're just going to cut our marabou tags off here. Get this all wrapped down tight. And then we're going to come in and put our lead on. And for lead, we are going to use um, just 0.15. You can use 0.25 or even 3.0 if you have it. 0.015, sorry. And um, just going to cover the whole shank here with lead. Which, my lead's a little long there. I'm going to bring this thread back out of the way. That'll make it a little bit easier for me. I'll be able to wrap it a little quicker. So I bring my thread out of the way. And we'll just start wrapping the lead up. Okay, like I said, I fished this as a nymph pattern, as a streamer. However, it's, I think it's just the flash, you know. I like the fish flashy flies, so this is just a pretty attractive fly to the fish. There's lots of color in it. Just get all that wrapped down there, and then we're going to come in. We're going to cover all this with thread to lock it in place. Okay, once we get all that wrapped down there, good. You don't have to be real, real particular because we're going to cover it all with ice dubbing here in a second. Next thing I'm going to do is put just a little bit of flash in the tail. I'm going to take a piece of, um, just a piece of crystal flash in like a peacock color. Peacock, rainbow, whatever you have, doesn't matter. Just getting a little bit of flash in there. And all I do is take one piece and just double it over so I get two tips here together. And I'm just going to put it on the side and make it the length of the marabou. Okay, make a couple wraps to wrap it down. Then the folded piece, I'm just going to bring over the other side and get it to come out the other side. And then we'll just trim it off the length of the marabou too. Okay, that just gives me two nice little pieces of flash there. Just, you know, not too much, just enough to catch your eye. Next piece we're going to tie down is a black strung rooster saddle. Okay. And uh, it's a big long feather. You see, got the fluff down here at the end. I'm just going to strip the fluffy end off because I don't need it in the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie it in by the tip. So just going to peel a couple, a couple of the fibers back like that. Okay, peel them back a little bit, use that to tie, then use the tip and tie the tip down.
Okay, now we got this all tied down. The next thing we're going to put on is our dubbing. So for dubbing, we are going to use some Caddis Green Ice Dub. Okay, and uh, we're just going to dub the whole shank. This is definitely a beginner style fly. Really, really simple to tie. We'll put it in the beginner series. I'm just going to wax my thread just a little bit. And then cover it with ice dub. And I'm going to cover it a little bit thick with the ice dub here. Because I want to build up just a little bit of body to it. Not a lot, but just enough. I don't want to see the thread or the lead through it. So just cover your thread there good with the caddis dub, caddis ice dub. And then we're just going to wind that up there towards the bead. And we're going to try to make it nice and equal sized. You know, I don't want it to oops, come off the hook there. Come off my line a little bit. So we're just going to get back. Tighten it back down. Okay, I'm a whole way up to the bead. You can see how I got it pretty nice and uniform there, which is good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just... Ah, oh man. That's not good. My hackle just pulled out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull my line back here and make a couple I'm going to cheat a little bit okay this happens nothing to worry about because my black the black thread's not going to be a big deal here because I got black hackle going back up there so seeing a little bit of black thread on your green ice dubbing there it's not really a big deal don't flip out about it so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to wind this up. And you see here I'm usually using a Regal vise today. I uh, Last week I just got a new vise so we're working with it and we're using taking advantage of the rotary on it. And I'm just winding it up with my rotary. And we're just going to wind it the whole way up there to the head. Then once I get it up to the head, we're just going to wrap it down. Get about three nice good tight wraps on it. Trim the extra off. And then I'm going to pull all my fibers back. And whip finish it off. And that is all that's to this very, very simple pattern. Like I said, nice beginner style, woolly bugger style pattern. I've caught a ton of fish on this over the years. It's really worked really well for me. Um, like I said, I kind of got away from fishing woolly buggers for a long time there. And uh, just haven't really had them in my box. But it was always a staple before. I think I'm going to have to tie a couple more up and get them back in there. Hope you like this fly. Like I said, you can't get much easier than this one. So give it a try. Only a couple pieces of material. A lot of it you should already have around your house there. Um, give it a try. And if you do need the materials, look us up at wholesingersflyshop.com. And we got everything you need to tie it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next week.